Hey guys, it's Miss Ruby and welcome to the BBC Kitchen where every Tuesday we're going to bring you some fun, tasty and easy snacks that you can do at home. But before we move on, we want to give a huge shout out to our partners, Nourish Food Bank. Thank you for all that you do. Don't forget to like, comment and follow us. And if you make any of these things at home, please take a picture and post it in our comments. Take a look. Staff. Um, today we're going to show you how to make quick and easy snacks um, that you can make yourself at home. Um, all you need for this, this is um, these are called pizza rolls. So all you need for those are crescent rolls. You get them from the coal section at uh, Walmart, Kroger, Publix, wherever you're paying shop. Um, and marinara sauce and pepperoni. We got turkey pepperoni because it's a little healthier than regular pepperoni. And I don't know if y'all recognize these from Snack, but these are the cheese sticks from Snack every day. <laughs> yeah, so we have already rolled out the crescent rolls, and our next step is to spread the marinara sauce on here just a little bit. And I'm gonna, while she's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, your oven doesn't quite look like this, uh, so it might be a little easier to do that. Um, but before you touch the oven, make sure you get permission from your parents to be in the kitchen and to operate something that produces heat. Um, so she's done uh, spreading the marinara sauce. You, I mentioned the toppings that we used, but you can use any of the pizza toppings that you enjoy. So, if you like spinach and artichokes, you can put that in there. I don't I know. Or olives. Or olives. Or whatever you want. Um, so then, after you spread the marinara, you're going to put the, oh, cheese sticks and pepperoni on it. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just sticking these with Susie today. <laughs> Alright, so we have our pepperoni on there just like that. So she has every, all the toppings on there. Um, well, after you put the toppings on, you're going to start with the big end. So it's a triangle shape. So you're going to start at the big end of the triangle. This um, is the big end. Take the cheese and roll it up in the bread. And it's okay if you get some of the, the sauce out out of it. It's cool. You're completely free to make a mess. Just clean it up. <laughs> okay. And, um... We're placing them on a baking sheet that looks just like this. Um, and we have these parchment papers at the club, but if you don't have that at home, you can just butter your pan or you can use foil, whatever your parents have, because you got permission from your parents already. So they'll help you with that part. Place them on your pan. And our last one. All right, so now what we're gonna do is just place these in the oven. Um, you're going to place them in there for about 8 to 10 minutes. Um, and just keep an eye on them. We say 8 to 10 minutes, but you don't want anything to burn. So keep an eye on them. Um, but magically, we have some that are already done. Look at that. And they actually look really delicious. So now, just enjoy. Welcome to the Boys and Girls Club. My name is Miss Beth, and we're going to be cooking up something fun for you today. I want to thank Palmer Wholesale, our food service program. They've been a great partner with us throughout this whole time. So thank you, Palmer. I'm Miss Destiny, also in the staff here at the Smyrna Boys and Girls Club, and I also want to thank Starbucks for partnering us with this. Today, we're going to make some pizza very easy to do. So we have bread. You can use any bread that you have at home. We have garlic bread here. We also have white bread, but you can use wheat bread. You can use a Hawaiian roll. You can use any type of roll that you have. Anything would work. So make it fun and make it easy. So we're both gonna work it together at the same time and we're just gonna build. You can add spice or um, any type of spice that you want to today, but we're gonna make it really simple. So the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna put some pizza 
sauce on each of the pieces of bread. So one of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna take spaghetti sauce or any kind of red sauce that you may have at home, and we're just gonna spread it on the bread that you have and that you chose. Like I said again, we have this garlic to Texas toast bread, and then we have just regular white bread. And then you're gonna be able to top it with any topping that you want. Make it creative and make it fun. So we have mozzarella cheese here. This is also some of the things that you have at snack that we send home with you. So you, we, all we did with the string cheese is we literally took off the strings and made little cheese out of it. So use what you have. I'm also gonna put in um, pepperoni. We have some turkey sausage. Turkey sausage is a little bit healthier. We also have the pepperoni as turkey as well. Okay, as you can see, we've gone ahead and put all the dressings on our bread. We put cheese. You can, like I said, you can put any kind of cheese that you want. This is cheddar cheese or mozzarella. We put turkey pepperoni, turkey sausage, and ham. We just took deli ham and took little pieces apart and set it on the top. After you have them all the way that you want. Also, be creative if you want black olives or green olives or red pepper flakes or jalapenos, whatever you want that you may have at home, you're, you're welcome to add to. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put these onto a um, cookie sheet. You can have cookie sheet at home. You can put Pam on the pan at home if you have Pam. You can put a foil. Um, just don't put plastic. <laughs> so we're gonna put all these on the um, pan and we're gonna cook them on 350 in the oven. Okay, so now that we have placed them in the oven, this is a, not your typical oven. Your oven will look a little bit different at home. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the oven and we're gonna show you our finished product. Be very careful. And here's our finished product. You can see how easy it was. Happy cooking, happy cooking.